Today on Done Different, it's part two of the chicken hatching, chicken incubating, duck hatching, duck incubating episode where we're going to go through and first we're going to candle this second batch of eggs. If you remember in the first video, first batch of eggs out of 18 eggs, we only had one chicken that was developing in the egg. So we tossed all the rest of the eggs, we put a whole new batch to see if maybe it was just those eggs, maybe it was just that we just picked brown eggs. So we're gonna be candling those next to see if we've got any development there to confirm that the rooster is bunk or not. And then after that, we're actually gonna have a hatching chick and some hatching ducks. So stay tuned, let's get into the candling first. All right. Egg numero uno. There's development. Yes, there is. Oh, look. That's a little legger. Oh, look. Egg. That's a brown legger egg. Is it? Mm -hmm. Look at that, you guys. Maybe we just had some sort of issue with our first batch of eggs. Well, we'll find out. That's just one. Got another one with some developments. Well, we know one chick is getting successfully mated and the rooster is not bunk. I think it's developing. I don't see any I don't know. hard movement, but. Nice. So this is the bigger. Oh, not that's nice. a bunk one. Three in a row though, that's good. Four in a row. Or not four in a row, four out of five. That one's developing. Yeah, super dark. Another developer that's really dark. Ooh, wow. That's a developer. Oh, there's the eye. And yeah, there's movement. Right down there. Bunk. Yeah. Yep, movement up here. I don't see it, but that's okay. Well, I thought I saw movement. Maybe I did. Oh, wait. See it down here. Mm hmm. That's a fucking. Yeah. Oh, it's a dud. At least we've got a small flock now. Next. As long as these hatch out. You know what they say, don't count your chickens before they hatch. That looks like a bed. Yeah, it is. It's these brown ones, so maybe it's our hens that are the problem. Mm, maybe or, we should shave some butts. Yeah. So, Hillary looked up online a way to uh, increase the... That one's aliven. Oh, yeah. Moving right there. Mm -hmm. To increase the uh, possibility of fertilization is that you can shave their butt feathers off to make it easier for Easy access. yeah for the rooster to inseminate all right so again you don't want to count your eggs before they hatch but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six of them could be the brahma that we were trying to breed with the, what's the white one? A uh, white rock. Good results. All right, the next time you see us, we will be celebrating the hatch of some chicken and duck eggs. Oh, look at you. 
Well, it's been about 24 hours since the first duck was born. Now we have a total of five and five more that have not hatched yet. We will see over the next few hours or day or so if those will hatch too. But so far, we got five the little cutest ducklings ever. And of course, our little chick that was born a few days ago. And then we actually picked up from a lady in the same city as us, this little other chick to keep this one company. And they were doing great. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And then these guys over here should be hatching here in about three days. There it comes! There it comes! They bust it out and it's like, oh my gosh, so much space. What do I do? As you can see, we have had several successful hatches, seven so far. This guy, I'm a little worried about, he pipped probably 12 hours ago. It hasn't really done much since. He's still alive in there. As you can see, everybody else woke up. So I have been working on the coop for the silkies, which you guys will probably see before this video. We've got our ducks in here and I added the two chicks which are probably three days older than the ducks. They had been in here, but that's where these guys are about to go until I get the silky coop finished, where these guys can go in the silky coop. These guys can go here. Our ducks will stay here, put our two older chicks back here, and then in about a week, we will integrate these chicks with those two chicks. So let's go ahead and get these guys moved over. This guy. Of course, I'm gonna take out all these shells. I still have three other eggs I haven't hatched, haven't pipped. So, with the sudden humidity drop, we don't want this guy to get shrink wrapped. So, I do have the sponge. Make sure it stays nice and moist. Let's wrap it in a paper towel, but let's give it yeah, a little bit of water. Yeah, you're doing all right there, buddy. 
then we'll put the sponge in here to make sure we bring that humidity up. Yeah, we dropped way down, 36%, but it's already on its way back up. So we are borrowing this incubator. So we're gonna to have to give that back after this hatch. This incubator we are going to use to probably try to hatch some more chick eggs. But uh, as for now, as you can tell, we have a lot on our hands. We're going to be trying to sell some of the ducks. The chicks we're going to probably keep um, either to add to our layers or to add to a breeding stock for meat birds. So we'll come back and uh, check on these eggs and then we'll end the video. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm gonna bust this one open. I just looked down inside and its beak hasn't moved from the original hip spot. And at this point it should have started to zipper. And I can see that the inside liner, um, which can shrink wrap them, looks like it's pretty much started that process. So. I'm going to zipper this egg, get that liner moist again, and see if maybe we can save this little bird. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. I don't know. most definitely starting to get shrink wrapped. We can soften that up. Oh, I'm afraid she might bleed out. She might bleed out. No, no, come on. Oh, that's a lot of blood. I'd end up losing this one. Dang it. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should have just left it alone. I think it was definitely on its way to being shrink wrapped. I don't know. Maybe I screwed up. If I did, I won't be leaving this part in the video. If she makes it through, leave it in and no it's not that only show the good stuff you guys know me I show both but I don't think I can show this much blood anyway on YouTube all right I'll check back in with you guys 
here in a second and we'll give the chick a little time and then we'll check back in. Well, it is the next morning and it's been about nine hours. Since our little chick here, I pulled out of the egg, as you guys saw, and I thought that I probably killed her, and I was wrong. She's doing great. Not completely dry yet, but she is in there by herself. Doesn't look like these three are going to produce live chicks. Probably leave them in there for another 12 hours or so, and if we don't have any pits, then we'll just get rid of those. All right, that brings our grand total to eight live chicks. I'm gonna wait a couple more hours for her fluff to dry completely before I put her in with the other seven, which are doing great. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing this morning? How do little peeps? Oh, look at the little Easter eggers. Gonna have some beautiful chickens out of this batch, I think. So if I didn't mention it in the video already, I don't I don't remember the breed of the rooster. I'll have to ask Hillary and put it down here at the bottom. Um, but we have that rooster which bred which just the one rooster that bred with uh, our Easter egger. We're pretty sure. Well, well, we know because they were the blue eggs, the yellow ones. And then the others came from um, Leghorn and I think possibly the Sex Links. And I think a couple other, again, I will throw those breeds down below. All right. So she's doing good. It's been around about 12 hours since she was born. So we're going to go ahead and pull her out and stick her in with the other chicks. I know. Oops. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're, not, we're gonna toss those. Those are obviously not viable eggs. I'm gonna put her right here, right here. Whoop, whoop. You guys trying to escape? All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you in the next one, Billy D. Little chicken hatching on out of here. Peace.